Hi, my name is Mandolin Royal. Today I'm gonna try to shrink wrap some chicken by myself and video it. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna pan out, but I want to go over the setup. These shrink bags are the Texas shrink bags. They're a really nice quality. They do the job really well. And they include these little air tubes to get the extra air out. And these are stupid. They include some little white zip ties. Those are stupid too. <laughs> I use a heavy duty outdoor grade zip tie because it withstands the water temperature much better. And I use a half inch section of PVC pipe. It's about yay long, foot and a half or so. And this is why. So on the instructions, they say to cut a little slit to let the air out after you've zip tied the back of this thing. And it doesn't quite do the job as nice as it could be. So what you wanna actually do is take the end of the PVC pipe after thoroughly sanitizing, put it inside of the bird directly, all the way down into the neck there. Cause you've already created a hole down here and as that hot water gets around it, this is all going to pull in. And the other thing that this does is it creates a handle. So you'll gather your bag loosely, pull it up. You'll put your zip tie right there as close to the carcass as you can get. And you'll go ahead and tighten that down onto this pipe. Now you have a dipping handle. You can also use some heat resistant gloves and you should probably go ahead and do that anyways, regardless of the method you're using. Cause that water needs to be 190 degrees, not to exceed 200 degrees. If it gets too hot, stuff will melt. If it's not hot enough, it's not going to shrink that well. So over here, I've got my pot of water going. I've got a thermometer see what's going on here so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and see where we're at do, 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 do. slowing down at 180 oops that was hot so I still have 10 degrees left to achieve in order for the best results so I'm gonna give that some more time to do that Look at these beautiful birds. Oh, and my medical gurney. This thing is vintage. It is so appropriate for the purpose. Here we are with carcasses on it, giving it new life with this beautiful stainless steel top. Easy to clean, easy to sanitize. And this gurney is still doing its job. <laughs> I don't even remember where we came by it, but it has four caster wheels that all swivel so we can move it out of the way as we need to. With chicken, I haven't needed the straps. <laughs> I think that's hysterical, but we're weird and it's fun and it's for a good reason, making our own sustainable food. But anyways, these shrink bags. I'm probably not going to be able to dip it and film it. I'm going to need both hands for that. I'm probably going to need both hands for the zip tie. But this one's ready as soon as the water's ready. We got our handle in here. Ready to go. It's not going to take any time at all. I'm going to count while I hold it under and come back and tell you how long it took, as well as show you the finished results. It's gonna be beautiful. One more thing while I wait on this water to warm up. Here's the zip tie, ready. So when I pick it up, we've got the handle and the bag stays secure. But also the bag size that's appropriate for these birds. Even if you get older birds.
They don't change a whole lot after this point. And this size is the 10 by 16 inch. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the comments on where I get mine. If you haven't already tried these bags. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna wait for five more degrees. All right, so here's my finished result. Nicely bagged, nicely finished. This is what it looks like if you don't trim off the ends of the bag. You still get a tail of zip tie and a tail of plastic left. I do like to cut that off so that it looks a lot more professional. Even though we're not doing these for sale, these are for our own personal use. But I still want them to go in the freezer like it looks like we know what we're doing. These I'm going to put in the refrigerator for four days to age them a little bit before they go in the freezer. You can also do that dry and you can also age dry for up to 10 days. There's a lot of different methods for aging and drying your poultry products and that helps with cooking process. So you kind of got to experiment and find what you like. I'm all right with bagging them, letting them sit at refrigerator temperature for four days and then freezing them and then we can cook them right after thawing them. We can also go ahead and do a 24 hour brine soak when we get them thawed and that helps tenderize if you do a buttermilk brine or if you use a recipe that has some baking soda in it. There's a lot of science in cooking. I don't know how deep you've gotten into it but once you open that can of worms it's a little learning adventure to cook. I think it's fun and I think it's tasty. So we're always trying new things. I'll keep you guys posted as we find stuff that works. I did do a seven second dip with these and you can see that it really grabbed on good. Put a good seal for not too much air inside. One of the other things to do is to dry them off before you put them in the bag. I did that pretty well, well enough anyways. I didn't get them totally dry. And in our experience, they don't need to be 100% dry, just dry-ish. And that's going to prevent ice from building up on the inside of the packaging. And it's going to prevent some freezer burn. But these are not going to be in the freezer all that long because we do go through chicken pretty good. It's one of the things that keeps us fed and keeps us going. Not bad. Not bad at all. More on this later.